deep in the heart of the Indian Ocean lies one of the most important ecosystems on Earth, yet virtually no one has ever heard of it. It's one of the most biodiverse regions on the planet, yet it's being systematically decimated by a multinational fleet of fishing ships and corporate interests that virtually no one tracks or polices. This is the Sayadamala Bank. In November 2022, scientists with the environmental nonprofit Monaco Explorations set out on an expedition to the Sayadamala Bank. Their mission? To document the rich biodiversity of the world's largest seagrass meadow and to measure the impact of climate change on this unique ecosystem. The nutrient-rich waters of the bank have an abundance of species, and scientists expected to see the grasses teeming with sharks. But they spotted none. The likely culprit, according to researchers, was a fleet of more than 200 fishing ships that have targeted the bank in recent years. Most of these vessels are longliners and gillnetters, and while they primarily pursue tuna, they also catch shark. The prize for many of these ships are the fins, which sell for hundreds of times the cost of shark meat. To avoid taking up space in the ship's holds, the deckhands on these ships typically throw the sharks back into the water, alive, after cutting off their fins. It's a wasteful process and a slow death. To offset poverty level wages, ship captains typically allow their crew to supplement their salaries by selling the fins back at port off books. Of the 200 or so ships identified fishing in the Sayadamala Bank since January 2022, the vast majority are Taiwanese and Sri Lankan. So this one also belongs to the group of four, right? Yeah. Taiwanese ships are forbidden by law from shark finning, but an investigation by the Environmental Justice Foundation found that over half of their fleet still engages in the practice. Sri Lankan vessels have historically targeted sharks in the country's national waters, but as domestic stocks of sharks have been decimated, the Sri Lankan fleet moved into the high seas, areas including the Sayadamala Bank. This has led to a boom in the Sri Lankan shark fin trade. In the decade prior to 2023, Sri Lankan shark fin exports quadrupled, most of it going to Hong Kong. Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China, which are the primary buyers of shark fin, have also done little to crack down on the commodity. And why do sharks matter? Well, partly because many types of them are on the verge of extinction, but partly also because if the sharks vanish, many other animals will too. As apex predators, sharks keep entire ecosystems in check, ensuring other marine creatures don't overpopulate. So in the case of the Sayadamala Bank, that means a paradise of biodiversity may be disappearing before we even understand what riches it holds. Mm -hmm. 